Uh, you know, I've, uh, I've been in the business for 14 years. I'm out of Southern California, Los Angeles, California. And uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, one of the, uh, the, the things is that, uh, you know, I came in here and I saw it work for uh, G and Juan uh, did it and, and Raj did it over in the T-Mobile arena. But uh, let's hear the people that are from Guam. All right, that's awesome. There's like three of us. That's a great. But uh, that's where I'm from. I was born in Guam. I'm also part Samoan. And people are like, wait a second, aren't those Samoan guys like six foot eight in every direction? It's like, yeah, that's not me, right? Anyways, but uh, I wound up, uh, you know, getting here, uh, you know, with my uh, family, moved to Seattle, Washington, wound up uh, working in the advertising industry. That's what I did before I came here. You know, I'm so excited that my family is here. Uh, my, my lovely aunt, my, my sister's here. Uh, my mom is here. And then my beautiful and amazing wife is sitting right here. I couldn't have done any of this stuff without her. She's absolutely incredible. You know, and uh, I'm going to go through this. The talk that I'm going to give you guys today is uh, a little bit about, uh, you know, what does it take to create a strong marketing plan? You know, my background having been in marketing, uh, you know, was, uh, I'll, I'll show you some of the stuff that I had worked on before uh, as we were going through here. And uh, you'll get a chance to be able to see some of the projects that I worked on. But have you ever heard of a company called Warner Brothers? We worked on a company called Warner Brothers up there. Is the movie Troy in the upper left-hand corner. The movie Constantine, Phantom of the Opera, Polar Express, some of the pro uh, production design stuff. Uh, you know, Speedo was one of my accounts. Uh, there was a couple of Huntsman Chemical was on my accounts. Gene Autry, America's favorite singing cowboy. So these were some of the projects that I did before I came to WFG. And people were like, oh, did you go to like, you know, uh, advertising and marketing school? No, I went to music school. I actually dropped out of music school. I studied jazz guitar and music production. So if you're like, oh my gosh, this guy's got this great background. No, I took this little, uh, you know, uh, intro course on, you know, how to organize that, that same school that Cash went to. I went there and, and did a little class on, a, a, an elective class on how to organize and some promotion marketing. It's called the Hubbard College in Los Angeles. It's awesome, right? But here's one of the things. I'm going to go through and give you some of these plans of things that you need to do in order to be able to make your business grow. Number one is Napoleon Hill said, you are engaged in an undertaking of major importance to you, right? Let me ask you a question. Is your family of major importance to you, yes or no? Yes, yes absolutely. So to be sure of your success, you must have plans which are faultless, right? Now there's always gonna be challenges, there's always gonna be things that are gonna be pushing back, but let me ask you a question. Are your plans faultless? You know, I remember when I wrote my first business plan, I stayed up all night long, you know, and I remember going through this business plan and I stayed up all night on a Friday night. I went to BPM because you never miss a meeting. I went all through the BPM and I went back to work and I stayed up all through Saturday, through the next morning, Saturday morning, then Saturday afternoon, I wrote my first business plan, right? I spent 30 hours. I go turn it into John Shin's elite circle class and I went in there and there were two guys ahead of me. One guy took a photocopy out of the BFS book. That was his business plan. And the next guy that came up did a photocopy of that guy's business plan and turned it in with his name crossed off. Do you think that those are guys that are going to be thinking about their future? John gets my business plan and he says, whoa, this has had some girth. He goes, Coleman, how long did you spend on your business plan? I said, John, I spent 30 straight hours dreaming of my dream life putting it together, putting it on paper, you know, and now we've had a chance to be able to do some of those things. So learn from those greats, Jeff Levitan, Greg Cap, John Shin, Ed, Rich, Monty, Jamie and Sean, my great leaders, Jamie and Sean Villalobos, our inspiring teammates, Cash Raston, Tina Raston, we love you, right, MVP CEOs, but Mark Kwan about to hit CEO, EVC, double promotion, Jasmine, Chris and Sunny Payne, Russ and Jessica, Zoe, these guys are incredible. So let's talk about this, the director, definition of marketing is the conceiving and packaging and the moving of a specific product into public hands. Are you moving products and services into the hands of consumers? Increase the number of happy purchasing customers. So let me ask you this. Have you spent time conceiving the product? What is your vision? You know, have you spent any time conceiving of that? Have you worked on your packaging? What is our packaging of our business? Is you, your representative of the packaging, right? Are you actively moving the product? And what is our product? the goal, the opportunity, savings, and protection for families, right? These are many products. And who is your public? You need to know who your customers are, okay? So definition of promotion is to make something well-known and well-thought-of. Promotion is the art 
of offering what will be responded to. By promotion, we mean reach the public and create want. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Are you well known? Are you, or are you a secret agent, right? Are you well thought of, right? Is your reputation that people are gonna come to you as the solution, not only for their financial planning stuff, but to give them a real business that can provide lifestyle? Are you offering solutions and are people responding? I wanted a business where people were gonna chase me. I don't wanna chase people. So how are you presenting it? Is it something that's intriguing and attractive or are you being weird? You know, you guys all know you have a weird guy on your team that everybody freaks out about a little bit, right? Don't be that person, okay? So are you reaching people and creating wants? Right, next thing. So what are the seven divisions of an organization? To have a complete business, and I'm talking about being a business owner, you have to have HR and establishment, right? What's your accountability? Do you have sales, promotion, and marketing? Do you have finance and accounting? Are you solvent? Are you a business that's staying profitable, right? Production and delivery. Here's the one that's the most important, quality control. I have staff that we do, for the SMDs, we do a persistency and NPR report with all their chargebacks so that we can actually identify what business needs to get rewritten and what, look at uh, you know being able to have the highest quality of business that we possibly can. I have a whole staff that's just dedicated to that and quality control, right? So public relations, right? BPMs, executive, vision, image, legal. Are you staying you know compliant and correct in your representation of our business? So you look at our uh, business in 2005, that was my team. Right, and I was, I was a senior associate. Only a few people on that screen, about five people on that screen are my team. Right, you look at the next picture, 2014, me, Mark, and Cash, we were all just SMDs. How does Cash go from SMD to EMD to CEO in six weeks? Because he's a crazy promoter, right? 2017, there's a team we took to Hawaii, 2017, St. Martin. Okay, so last thing, keep it simple. Make progress daily. Do not start and stop. Do not have a quitting point. I see people go, oh, am I gonna quit here? Or am I gonna quit here? And they keep moving it and moving it around. I came in, I said, I have no quitting point. I'm here for the long haul, baby, right? So make progress daily. Be unkillable. Are you unkillable in your business and in your mindset? Be professional, competent, compliant. Deliver a superior service experience to your clients, team, and family. How does your family feel about this business? Do they feel awesome about it the way my family does? And know all the ways to make a million dollars here. Have you plotted that out? Do you talk about that to your team? Here's all the ways through recruiting, assets under management, you know, insurance sales, all that kind of stuff. Do you have all of those things in place? You know, so build your agency, recruit. Right? What, what does a million dollar business look like? What does a million dollar you look like? Trajectory and perspective. You need to be able to have a great trajectory. Do you have a vision for your life and where you're going? And the last thing I'll leave you on this is everything works out right in the end. If it isn't right, it isn't the end. Thanks guys, have a great rest of your convention.